Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Today we're continuing our series on testing prospective materials for improvised body armor. For this test, I started with a scrap of concrete slab about an inch and a half thick and wrapped it with baling twine. Then I put a layer of duct tape over the baling twine. The idea here is that the concrete will stop the bullet while the baling twine prevents the concrete from falling apart once it gets cracked by the first bullet impact. And the duct tape keeps the baling twine from unraveling so it can do its job. So I actually made three of these uh, concrete body armor trauma plates uh, wrapped in baling twine and duct tape. Uh, so we'll shoot one of them with 9mm, uh, representing sort of the lower half of the uh, handgun cartridge power spectrum. Uh, we'll shoot one of them with 44 Magnum, representing the upper half of the handgun power spectrum. And we'll shoot one of them with 223, you know, as representative of light rifle fire. So, I have really pretty high hopes of these stopping one round. I'm not sure what'll happen with subsequent rounds, and that's one reason I made three separate plates for our three separate calibers. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and start shooting them. Nine millimeter. Well, it clearly stopped the first round of nine millimeter. Let's shoot it again. Stop the second round of 9mm. I can feel that the concrete has been cracked up some, but so far it's still holding together. Three for three. Okay, so the fourth shot was very close to the first one, and that looks like it finally went through. So we have passed through. Now, the bullet was just lying on the table right behind the panel, so obviously it didn't have a lot of energy to keep on going after it came out the back. All right, now for a 44 Magnum. Stop the first round. Hard to tell if it stopped the second round or not. I think the bullet's captured in there. I don't think there's a, a bullet hole. Um, but there is sort of some debris uh, coming out the back, so definitely a little more damage than we were seeing with the 9mm. I suppose that's not surprising. That, I think, was a clean pass-through on the third shot. Now for 223. Well, looks to me like both of those went right through, even the first one. You know, I've seen a lot of test videos where other channels have tried to make improvised body armor using floor tiles and that typically doesn't seem to work out too well. But I hadn't seen anyone else try uh, cinder blocks or you know, cement blocks like these, and so I was curious to see what would happen. And really, I'd say these performed admirably well. I mean, the cinder block uh, was capable of stopping at least the first couple of handgun rounds, the baling twine was effective at holding it together, uh, and the duct tape held the baling twine in place. So they really worked as designed. Uh, now, is it really practical to make body armor out of cinder blocks? Well, that's certainly open for debate, but of the materials we've tested, I'd say this has definitely been one of the more successful at stopping bullets. Anyway, till next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.